Greetings programs, this is Francis Xavier logging on for a special update. Today is Monday, July 20th, 2020. As you could probably guess by my new sign-on phrase, I've been undergoing a lot of major changes. Three of them deserve special mention. One, I have a new job at the FedEx Ground Memphis Hub. It's a hard physical labor job where I'm unloading trucks of freight that are super hot on the inside from noon until five, but the pay is great and I have great benefits because FedEx is a good company, despite my less than stellar past history with them, which thankfully did not get in the way of me being hired. Also, I've met a lot of nice people in this job who really show concern about me, and I in turn show concern for them. And I'm learning a whole lot on this new job. I'm also getting two big pay raises this week, one permanently and one for the summer season. Number two, I've quit my job at Domino's Pizza. I'm grateful to them for picking me up after the Express Memphis World Hub chewed me up and spit me out like I didn't matter at all because of my gender and the color of my skin, and admittedly more than a few anger issues stemming from said discrimination. The particular Domino's I worked at on Poplar Avenue was far from the great workplace that it sold itself as. I did make some good friends there, but there were far too many cons to not warrant me finding a new job. Not only was the demand of a fast-paced food service job physically taxing with the occasional unpleasant customer over the phone or in person, but more than a few co-workers, who were teenagers by the way, were rather unruly and definitely not very bright, shoving a lot of their work onto me, which was a problem I had at FedEx, which caused me to become angry again. Not to mention, when I was told by a manager to refuse their dumping of their work onto me, one of them, in response, dumped raw meat and cheese all over my car and smeared the windows and windshields. And despite the manager confirming who did it via the security camera out back and telling me that this person got fired, I saw them back there not even a week later. Which brings me to my biggest problem with that particular Domino's. My manager. The store manager. If there's one thing I hate, it's being forced to be happy all the time. My parents only did it when I was really young and thankfully they phased out of it a lot later. But my manager at Domino's is obsessed with everybody always being happy to the point where he just always answers the phone and customers coming in the door with a loud and very fake Wow! Thanks for choosing Domino's where we love our customers! And to further add salt to the wound, he never allowed the radio station to be changed from 94.9 AM, which here in Memphis is a very pretentious Christian radio station called K-Love that plays the exact same songs every hour ad nauseum. To this day, they are all still stuck in my head, no matter how much Linkin Park I used to wash it out with. Now that is a little weird coming from a traditional Roman Catholic and a son of Reagan era conservatives, but we are a group that mostly keeps to ourselves and is very quiet and reserved in our beliefs, not pounding our chest and shouting to the heavens like these Bible-thumping hypocrites. But I digress. It was not a fun job, and despite my parents telling me to stay on the job, not caring at all about my happiness, or particularly my dad was, it only got worse and worse, making me work earlier and stay later, well past when I was supposed to, until they finally forced my hand as soon as I got the job at FedEx. Because right when I got the job at FedEx, Domino's, rather than be proud of me, told me to leave FedEx or they would fire me. So I told them, you can't fire me, I quit. I'm giving you my two weeks notice. And even then, they made me stay no less than four days 
past the end of my two weeks notice. So needless to say, I was more than happy to have left that job. And finally, this brings me to the number three big update for me and is the biggest change in my life so far. I have moved out of my parents' house. You are not hearing anything that is not true. This really happened. I have finally moved out of my parents' house. After years of griping about how my parents were being mean to me on DeviantArt and Twitter and YouTube and everywhere, I've been talking about moving out for just as long, if not longer. Me and my friend Justin have been looking up apartments, but for now, him and his girlfriend Zia basically left their apartments because they got treated like garbage and they decided, hey, Avery, you want to move out? Let's all move in debt together. So it's me, Justin, Zia, and Justin's childhood friend Brian. You're going to like him. We're all moved into a house that we're renting all to ourselves. It's not in the nicest area of Memphis, but it's nowhere near any of the bad places. We, we absolutely ruled them out. We ruled out Raleigh, we ruled out Frazier, and we definitely ruled out Orange Mound. Ugh. It is a bit small. There's only three bedrooms and one bathroom, but it fits well within our budget, and it's, well, and it's uh, nice and pretty and well-maintained. And it may not have a dishwasher. It may not be able to have a dishwasher, but it is very much better than me living with my parents. Plus, we now have our own Wi-Fi, though we didn't have it for the first week. It was pure agonizing terror to not have Wi-Fi. Now, we did have an AT&T box. I mean, like, like uh, one of those things you plug in for an AT&T router, but the service would, would have been way too expensive here. Plus, we couldn't get the gigabit service, the fiber service over here. But thankfully, the Xfinity gigabit service was available in our area, and our new XFi router is humming right along to my left and the right of my laptop on my new desk as we speak which sadly I could not fit in my bedroom, so it's out in the general hall area, right where the TV is, which is now gonna be our streaming studio setup. That's me leaning back in the chair. Speaking of laptops, I now have a new laptop. We were renting our washer and dryer from Aaron's, which was the first time I ever set foot in that place, fun fact. I took notice of an HP Omen, you know, super hi-fi gaming laptop for just over 100 a month. And when the Aaron's people mentioned that I would get a special discount on both the laptop and on our washer and dryer if we bundled them both together, well, I said to myself, eh, sure, why not? And so now we're getting a washer and dryers in a couple of days and I came home with a brand new laptop but I plan to pay it off fully in the 120 days coming so that I won't be saddled with a two-year lease that'll eventually have me paying almost twice as much as what the laptop would cost you know like a smart person who wants to save their money would do <clears throat> at any rate while me and my friends are still unpacking here, we're hard at work setting up a new streaming schedule where we'll be playing tons of games, hopefully at least one teeny stream a day. And I'm also going to be learning how to make animation, which is going to be a lot easier now that this new laptop has a NVIDIA GPU, which is really good for models and rigging and stuff. We may put off a few unboxings to save money, but 
we will have uh, tabletop games. Like, we're going to have a few Pokemon battles in the card game. Definitely a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! duels, as well as showing off some Magic the Gathering stuff and doing some deck profiles on all three. And I'm also planning to use my new phone to stream mobile games, as well as planning to write tons of new fanfics, and even some books that I've been stalling to write for some time. So, needless to say, we're a bunch of busy beedrills out here. Hope you look forward to more from the Delta Otaku. Yep, that's our name. We are the Delta Otaku, coming to you. Please stay tuned, and thank you so much for staying tuned so far. This is Francis Xavier, logging off.